Yo, it's your boy H Black the Source, Harry Pinero, and welcome to. Yep. Okay, that was good. We're gonna keep that one in for the video. I'm too wild, man. I've been trading. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's your boy H Black the Source, Harry Pinero, and welcome to my channel today. I'm doing 10 things that I can't live without. Now, I copied this from Young Philly. He copied it from GQ. They're not putting us on, so we've got to put ourselves on. Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, this is a little, little bit of an understanding of who I am as a person. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, my first item is the Quran. It's changed my life and probably changed Muslims' lives across the world. In order for me to become Harry Pinero, I had to go to the mosque and pray to change my life around. And, you know, I read a lot of verses from the Quran to basically, you know, give me some, some I guess, passage to this illustrious career that I've had, alhamdulillah. Reading a verse from the Quran day in, day out is something that keeps me grounded, humble, and reminds me to stay very, very grateful for everything that I've achieved. I've been able to go to Umrah twice. And I just think, yeah, I wanted to start this off with this because all this stuff is material, but this is actually what matters. You follow this, I think you're, you're in a good place. It's incredible. This was given to me by uh, Imam Shakil uh, from Lewisham Mosque, so shout out to him. And you know what? I, you don't have to be Muslim to read this. I think if you're in a similar position that I was in where I was kind of like lost and, and needed some guidance of how to be, number one, a better person. I think this is the, I don't even think I know this is the best book for you. I've got a lot of friends who are not Muslim, but they read the Quran just to understand ways of life. It's about peace, tranquility, being a better person, looking at your, as people, as people rather than, you know, status quo and all that nonsense. So yeah, I think this is, is the best book for everything. It's, it's generally like, there's only one book and it's this book. So um, yeah, if you ever need anything, and it's not just about that like, when you're sad, it's when you're happy to rejoice and to be like, you know what? I'm grateful, alhamdulillah. So yeah, and this is not a promo. <laughs> oh, so actually I want the blessing. So go get this book, go read it and say, Harry told you to do it. The Manchester United jersey from our most illustrious season to Harry. Best wishes, Paul Scholes. Now you're probably thinking, how do I know this when I haven't even looked at it? Looked at this nine million times. This is my first love outside of my family was Manchester United. I was probably like eight years old, Andy Cole signed for Man United. My dad bought me a jersey from a charity shop, Black Shark Kit, and immediately I just fell in love with Manchester United. I thought like Andy Cole was my dad, Black Power and all that. That's the reason why I started supporting Man United, Andy Cole. Everyone knows if you've been following me how much I love Manchester United. Paul Scholes being my favourite ever Manchester United player, I had the blessing to be able to go and interview him and I can actually consider him as a friend. Maybe him, not me, but I consider him as a friend. You're growing up, you support a team, you don't think you're going to go and watch them, meet the players, interview them. Like, it's, there's, my life changed so much that being able to like, you know, work with my club is, is, is a blessing. And I think this is the best Man United jersey we've ever had. <laughs> you gotta stay loyal. Like we lost to Crystal Palace, four nil. And uh, Young Philly has been calling me, I haven't been answering. So you can understand where I'm at right now. But uh, yeah, this kit is um, unreal. We won everything in England, um, bar the League Cup, which was FA Cup, Champions League and the Premier League. Um, obviously the game in, in Barcelona, 1999, where we won the treble. I have a picture with um, my dad, my uncles, where I'm wearing this shirt. And um, my dad's actually an Arsenal fan. And that was the night where my dad was like, if Man United win, then OK, I'm not going to make you support Arsenal. And I'm so happy we did, because I love this club. By the way, I met Roy Keane, guys, yeah? I was doing something with Sky Sports uh, scenes. Uh, it was Man United against Tottenham. Me and Danny Aarons was doing it on Specs, right? And um, Jamie Redknapp has gone to, to Roy Keane. He's gone, um, hey, do you, do you know Harry? And he's gone, no, I don't. And I was like, oh, well, my name's Harry, and he shook his hand, and he goes, this me, can I hug you? And he goes, what for? And he goes, all right, I don't know, I'm joking. And he gave me a hug, and genuinely, I, he had to like, kind of, yeah, it, it got, it got real, real dark. Sorry, let me just get my uh, Louis Vuitton bag out, sorry. <sighs> sorry, guys, didn't want to do this, but you know, all right. This is something that stems from my parents. My, my dad has always been keen on smell. This is Oud. Initio, Oud for greatness. Now this one here, genuinely, I'm being dead serious. If you spray this, yeah, a flock of women can genuinely come and take you away. And if that's what you're into, you spray this. Now, Mansira, uh, instant crush, self-explanatory, says it on the tin. I'm just trying to put everyone on. And then bond number nine, absolutely unreal. There's not a better compliment than someone saying to you, you smell really good. But my dad literally would always buy like perfumes and I would always spray them and take them to school or whatever and always get complimented for that. But even more than that, I just love buying perfumes. I have over 30 perfumes, like, and they're all good ones as well. I don't just spray one perfume at one time, I spray three. 
So people are like, what do you smell like? And I can never tell them because I honestly don't know. What you got to do is bow, bow. That's one. Beam, beam. That's there. Then oud for greatness, you want to put it there. You don't rub your perfume together. No, you need to let it seep in to your skin. Rubbing it rubs it away. And I never spray my clothes, ever. You leave stains on them. If he was in a studio right now, you <laughs> smell good. Smell good. No, no, I do. Look, that's all good? What? Okay, fair. No, that's cool. Ladies and gentlemen worldwide, my people from Africa, this is a household item that I think is in everybody's house. It's either in cubes, but I love the sauce. Picture soya sauce, yeah? Less harsh, a bit sweet. So this is in my car and I have one in my house as well. It's unreal. Maggie seasoning, you put that on top of some rice or some meat and it's just like, it gives, like you can feel it back here. And that's where you want to feel, if you don't feel food back here, what's the point? But um, yeah, this is just reminds me of my mum whenever like she would um, like make food for us at home. Obviously I'm from Sierra Leone, so she'd make us some cassava leaf, some crane crane, and then bow. That, like she would actually get mad at me because it is a little bit salty. And Maggie, if you're watching and you, you're looking for brand ambassadors, you want to take the brand to another level, please feel free to um, shout me. Um, email will be in, in my Instagram bio. Maggie, Maggie seasoning. Wow, that sounds like an advert. Maggie, Maggie seasoning. People can never say that I don't contribute to society. Um, I make sure that I give my bit to the community. Now these, but this, this, okay, so this is my this is my reason for always having these, yeah? This is precious, precious artifact that's in my hand right now. I like to park close to wherever I am. So if I'm going to work, I want to be close to my car. I don't want to have to walk too much. I might be with my son, I might be, you know what I'm trying to say? So I do this for, for my convenience, but it doesn't convenient me. Because what's happened, this has, look, let me show you something. This parking ticket is from, oh, it's not that bad. PlayStation in general, yeah? So this obviously is a PlayStation 5 controller, um, but in general, PlayStation has been there throughout most of my life. It's from PlayStation 1, all the way up to PlayStation 5. Obviously, PlayStation 2 was my favorite console of all time. It's the greatest, the GOAT. I think there was so much more incredible games. But this is where I unwind and I, I am not Harry Panera, I'm just a, a normal guy who loves to play games with his friends. Whether or not it's Fortnite, FC24, GTA, whatever it may be, I just feel like this is where I just I just zone in. Obviously, I recently started streaming as well. Girf and Turf Tournament has been incredible because we're just bringing a lot of creators into one space and just having fun playing the beautiful game that we love, but on PlayStation. My first ever game I remember playing, I'm gonna sound like an ancient fossil, but it was uh, FIFA 98 Road to the World Cup. David Beckham was on the cover. Um, my dad bought that for me and I think that's when I was like, yeah, this, this is me. Oh, defo food stains. So when I'm playing and I've got like, I don't know, I might be eating a burger or whatever. Oh, oh sorry, 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 boys. Um, okay. Like, come on, man. <laughs> that's how it goes. So yeah, I literally just picked this up this morning and um, yeah, but I love this. Like, genuinely, I wish I was playing right now. Ugg slippers. I have never ever own, owned Uggs ever. I think Uggs are predominantly for women, right? But then when I saw these with the cutoffs, I said, yeah, this is more my thing. These are my driving shoes. These are my going to bed shoes. These are my shoes when I'm going to a shoot and no one can see my feet. I just think these are just incredible comfort. Now, I don't know if you can see, yeah, but it's got, it's got fur. It's not an animal, I don't think. If it is, sorry, take this out. But yeah, it's, it's good, good bit of fur there. Um, it's just comfortable, man. I, I love them. Oh, no, no, no. Barefoot is, is, is techie because if I go barefoot, yeah, there's a possibility that it's gonna sweat and it's gonna smell. So, like, genuinely, I would never tell you to smell that, but it smells like, like, it smells like leather. Like, I, I, my feet always, come on, man, look after me now. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't put my foot in these, but thin socks. Men that haven't experienced the Ugg slippers, you are, you know, setting yourself up for failure, really. Take a little look at yourself in the mirror and say, why am I doing this? Is it because of how other people are going to judge you? If you want to be judged, do a crime. No, 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 I don't go for the basic bitch look. What I do is I go for the, um, the jock look. So what I do is I go with the white socks, high shorts, a uh, very tight t-shirt, uh, maybe medium, even though I wear large and extra large, just to, uh, you know, show the muscles which I have been training, I'm sure you can see them. Um, and then, yeah, like you go down to the, to the lobby and you're just like, excuse me, I've got a parcel. 
And then they look at the feet and they're like, oh my God, wow, it's him. They see the Uggs. They see the Uggs. Yeah, it's genuinely like, some people spend thousands of pounds on clothes. 100 quid. Bob's your uncle. And by the way, Uggs, um, look, I've been seeing you doing a lot of like campaigns where you're, you know, you're bringing in, um, you know, black people. You know what I'm trying to say? But I feel like it gets non-blacker. So um, if you want to, look, look, it, it works, look. Give me a little look down this camera, just a little, you know, just a pose. Okay, cool. So uh, how, how I'll do it in the video? I just say probably that maybe there's a thinking man's pose here. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Okay. Wow. wow. <laughs> Some may not know, but I am a YouTuber. Um, I am also a presenter, uh, content creator, whatever you want to call it. And I have this um, laptop to do my editing and stuff because I edit all my videos. Cap, I'm joking. All right, so the real reason why I like having a laptop around me is that if I'm, I don't know, on a long journey and I want to watch the game, I can watch it on the laptop, watch YouTube videos, I can watch series on here as well. So we've got the Primo, which I'm wearing right now. Uh, shout out to Sharky. Nando's, secure the bag, because I'm always doing that. Gumball 3000, we did that, incredible. And I love my Jordans, which I'll show you guys later. Uh, and dripping in sauce, because I am genuinely dripping in sauce. So back when I was like working in, in uni and stuff, yeah, everybody had a MacBook. And I had a Sony Veo laptop, V A I O, right? It genuinely, when I like after like ten minutes, it sounded like a full-on airplane, like a jet. And I used to be so embarrassed, like I'd it'd be like, <sighs> and everyone would laugh because it was like this was a laptop that my dad had from years ago, and I took it to uni. AirPods Max. All right. Well, yeah, that's what they're called, AirPods Max. Now, if I'm being honest with you guys, I bought this because of the hype. Like, listening to music in this, it just feels like it's, you're in the studio. Like, you are part of the song. I take these with me all the time in case, like, I'm going for a run. Um, like I said, if I'm on a flight or whatever and I want to watch a series or just listen to music, really good. Sometimes even when I'm in my house and I'm just, like, vibing, I would like to put these on whilst I'm doing stuff rather than playing music loud. Why I love these as well is because um, these are basically, it's, it's, it's a way of saying, do not chat to me. Like, I am above you, I, I have worked hard, uh, I'm a billionaire. That's what these headphones are. It's also a fashion statement. Now, I've definitely been wearing these and my battery, the battery's dead. And I've been pretending as if I like, yo, I'm on the phone or I'm listening to music. So I might be humming a song and then someone will be like, yes, oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's busy, busy, busy. yeah. So um, if you've ever seen me quite possibly, battery's dead. But um, doesn't mean I'm a bad person, it just means that I just was in my bag, innit? I sometimes do this one. What look is that? Would you call that? Oh, that one is I'm listening, mm. but I'm not. And then we call this one locked in. Harry. Ha Harry. Harry, there's a call. Harry. Harry, I hate. It. Cool. Ha That's the vibe. Yeah. Everyone knows this. I've got one of the most wonkiest hairlines. When I get a haircut, obviously my original hairline is generally McDonald's, but. On another occasion, it is straight like how it kind of is today. So a brush, what I do is I brush my hair, boom, 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 brush it, brush it, brush it. And then I set the do-rag just to lay it. You know what I mean? So that when I wake up the next day, it's very, very fresh. I've had this brush for about six years. Um, very hard, look. Oh, there's some waves, sorry. This is the, you know, bread to my butter the sugar to my tea, or the milk to my, milk, milk to my tea. Sugar. Yeah, sugar, yeah, some people just like, like some people like, yeah, yeah, fair play. And also, uh, I just wanna announce on my channel that um, I'm going gray. And, um, Is that not good? No, no, that wasn't, <laughs> that was like cute, sad music vibes. I've had um, a few comments come my way, and um, it has hurt me, but yeah. I just wanted to just get it off my chest. Come out for therapy today, really and truly. But yeah. When did you notice the grey? Oh, I, I turned grey at 21. Yeah. Pouch, wash bag, I don't know how you, what you want to call it. Yeah. Um, this is what I have like my keys, my phones, my wallet. It's just good to have it in my hand. Now, obviously, you know, football players would walk into the game like. <sighs> All of that stuff, it's not for that. This is just, basically I need it. Like, so that I don't lose anything. I just feel like having this, holding it like this whilst I'm doing whatever I'm doing, 
I, I don't want to be those people that have like their, you can see everything in their pockets. Um, so I usually used to have a backpack, but then sometimes I'm just thinking I've got a backpack and there's not that much stuff in it. But having this is just so good. I'm not one of those people that's excessive, so I wouldn't get another one. I'll just keep this until it stops, like it breaks or whatever. So this is, I might pass this down to my son actually. My car keys. I love cars, I like being in my car, my, my comfortable space. I think if not my house, I'm in my car more than any place in the world. I just, I love fast cars. I love... That's the sound of the engine. Um, yeah, I love it. She's a strong, big boned woman who follows me across the streets, across the world, and she loves me. She keeps me very, very safe and protected. Um, and I love her with all my heart. Um, I fill her up every other day just to make sure that, you know, she's, she has what she needs. Um, Do you ever just rub her down and just sort of... clean her down. Mm -hmm. I genuinely, I leave her spotless. Do you ever towel her off? I do, I do, but I don't let anyone drive her. No, 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 no. She, no one can just ride her, it's impossible. Do you ever put anything in the boot or is that just for... Look, um, I like to keep the boot clean, right. but I, I really don't mind sometimes, sometimes you've got stuff something in the boot. Just throw it in. Just dash it in there, yeah. dash it in there. Yeah. You know, you know, and I all uh, look the pipes. Yeah. It's all about the pipes. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and she's ah, oh, 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 oh. and the horn. Oh, she gets beat. No, she gets beat. She she really gets beat. Yeah. Um, How do you hold the keys? Just out of interest. What's the oh, oh, way oh. to hold keys? All right. So I think flipping. We look good. Towards the yeah. Towards we look good. Yeah. Right, man's gonna. Yeah, yeah. I'll shout at you. Yeah. Uh, love, love. Or then you wanna. You might wanna. Are we good? ready to go, yeah? Because what you want to do is you want to get the... All right, my last thing though, that I wanted to show you guys, Jordans, trainers. I love trainers, but Jordans in particular, Jordan 4s more than anything, I just think they're the best silhouette of a trainer that I've ever seen. I'm a very simple dresser, by the way, guys. Like, I don't wear extravagant clothing. Like, um, it might, sometimes the clothing I have is expensive, but it's not loud. Like, I remember I had like a, Louis Vuitton jumper once, yeah? And I've only worn it twice. It's just too loud. It's too much attention. It's like, Whoa, look at me. Like, I don't like clothing like that. I like simple, simple clothing. Trainers are a different story though. I don't mind them being a bit colorful, but this is the silhouette. This is obviously a different type of Jordan 4, but the simple, the better. And I think with Jordan 4s, if it hasn't got this hair, it's not, it's not organic. You need a Nike hair there. You need it, it's, it's mandatory. All great things come to an end, and that is the end of this video. 10 things that Harry Panero cannot live without. If there's anything you think I missed, let me know. If anything you loved, please let me know in the comments. And um, I may do another one, actually. I might do 20 things. I'm joking, I'm not. This is, this is it. All right, guys. Well, make sure you comment and subscribe and do all of that stuff. I'm officially a YouTuber again. Peace.